So guys, we are here again. It is match day. We are at home. I'm wearing a home shirt today. We're playing against Harrogate. Bit of a slightly bit of a different match day today. Uh, Jack's not going to be there. That's quite busy today. Uh, so I'm taking my younger brother and my niece uh, to her first. Um, it's her first football match, I believe. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it'll be entertaining hopefully there'll be a few goals so they're not bored <laughs> um but yeah um it's gonna be an interesting interesting game how we got scored five in their last game so we've got some major defending to do to make sure that we don't concede that many um i don't think we'll win of course i'd love a win especially now i'm taking my younger brother and my niece but we'll see uh we'll see what's like when we get down there see ya So uh, I am at the ground, I'm with my brother and my niece, we are about to go in. I am just going to give a very quick score prediction. I'm going to say it's going to be 3-1 to Harrogate. Although if we do win, I'm going to say 2-1 knots. So I'm giving two score predictions, one if we win, one if we lose. I'm not very confident that we'll win today. I hope we do, especially because I've got my brother and my niece. Jack's giving the score prediction. He's saying 4-1 Harrogate. Uh, obviously, Jack, uh, I'm not saying he's negative, but he's definitely not as positive as uh, I think some of um, my views sometimes. But like I said, I don't see his winning today. Harrogate scored five in the last game. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what the score is. See you in <laughs> That was such a, such a lucky save. Like I said, we almost went, there was a certain goal, it was never offside. For me, 1-0 to they're nearly conceding. We're in a matter of, what, 60 seconds? They've now got a point. So it's been about 20 minutes in now, it's still nil-nil. Like I said, we again, again, we are by far the better team. The pass has been brilliant, the possession's been brilliant. Right, 25 minutes in, in a minute, Harrogate are kind of all over us, they're all in a box. 
you know it's kind of to see something defending again. It's like we're prattling around again at the back. And if they score now, it makes sense because we're prattling around at the back. But they've got a corner target. So there we are, half time, 1 0 to Notts County. Like I said, it should, it should have been 2 0. Each scoop in the video, yeah, but like I said, it should have been 2 0. The first goal was, I don't think it was ever offside. Um, and, and it was never offside in a million years. Right, so I've had to restart the video because the stewards in Notts County are assholes. Right, like literally, I'm just right near the steps doing the video, and he's like, oh, you've got to move health and safe there. When, there's no health and safety issue there. But anyway, back to what I was saying. 1 0 knocks County at half time. It should be 2 0. I don't think that first goal was ever offside in a million years. How we got two very close good chances. Great save by Hammond. We've outplayed him in the first half. If we continue to play like that, we definitely need another two goals to kill the game against Knox County. There's no way that we're sitting comfortably on 1 0 at all or even 2. We need another these two goals. But again, it's so good to be going in at half time winning. Positivity for once. I, I, I can wish Jack was here. I'd love to kind of see his impression in and, and his thoughts on the game. You know, like I said, Jack, you know, I've not tried to be harsh with you, but again, it could be very, you know, very harsh, should I say. You know, would he come out and say, that we played actually some brilliant football uh, and we've looked strong, we've looked a good team, we deserve the win. We like I said we should be cheating a lot. You know, Jack, I wish you was here, mate. Um, but yeah, great first half, let's come out swinging second again. We don't need to sit back, we don't we should be pissing around now. Let's just don't kill the game. You boys! Oh, you you ready for the second half, you two? You ready? So again, another great chance there from Ross County, and literally that was two great chances in 60 seconds. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up, guys. Let's win this game. Let's have a win. But like I said, this will be the first win in 2024 at Medellin. It looks like it's going to be a more tacky in the second half. You know, you take off the bed, you've been on Jody Jones. He's got the most assists in English football, in all of English football. And he's Rugby League 2 player of the year. Staff just couldn't quite get the 
turn in the power on it. Oh. Creeping for that second goal. Just like that, happy blow whistle ref is giving them a penalty. Never a penalty. Ridiculous. So like right, we're 60 minutes in, um, again whistle, go happy referees giving them a free kick. Like I said, they've had a penalty, great save, they missed an open goal. They are still kind of all over us in a box at the minute, so it's getting nerve wracking. Like I said, 1-0 from Knotts is just not enough, we need another goal if not two. But I really, I really, after everything we've just had in the past five minutes that they don't score for Approaching the 80th minute, we've got 10 minutes plus whatever the time is. Come on, Nars, hold on. Let's have a clean sheet in a 2 0 win. It's been brilliant. Yeah, we've got 90 minutes. We're almost 80. How are we going about to take a corner?
minute, couldn't get my words out then. Two minutes left of this other time. You know, it's weird, like I said, but you know, it's 3 0. We deserve, we deserve a win. We deserve to win on a lot of games, you know, and I think, you know, this home crowd needed to see a win. We played brilliant in the first half. We did come out a bit of sketchy in the second half, having a definitely up the game. Um, but again, we've, we've actually made it count today, and that was the biggest goal. Right guys, so I'm going to kind of wrap this one up quick. Um, I didn't do a vlog after the match just because I wanted to get my brother and my niece home. Uh, I am finally home and I'm celebrating and having a beer, a carlin. It's nice to come away from Meadow Lane, from a county game with a win. Um, yeah, so again, quick wrap up. 3-0, what a result, what a win. Obviously, I know they don't mean much. I know we're not going to get promoting. Obviously, we're not going to get relegated, but again, it's nice. We needed it after the table run we've been on. Like I said, it lifts, it lifts emotions. You know, it lifts the spirits. You know, and the boys needed a win. Um, like I said, it should have been could be four, could be five. Uh, they could have, to be fair, had three goals themselves. Um, absolutely fantastic save uh, by Hammond. Um, uh, with a penalty, uh, Langstaff took the penalty. Great. Jody Jones, what a magnificent run. Again, that, that man kind of can't do no wrong this season. You know, he took on the run. There was no one there. He took a shot, which he should, which he should, and a lot more players should be doing this, and he scored. And I've said in a lot of the vlogs and a lot of the videos, if can't, he just got the ball, ran to the goal on attack, and took the chance, we would score more, we would win more, and it would pay off more. That's what Jody Jones did, and that's what... And, and it worked, you know. So, again, I think, I, you know, not saying I'm a bloody genius, but I think we're onto something there. A lot of other teams seem to do it. We need to do it more. So, great goal. And then the last one, Jim O'Brien, a truly man that loves the club. He shows off his nice county tattoo. Again, great header, great cross. Uh, and, I, again, we played fantastic in the first half. We we brought a lot of pressure on ourselves in the second. I didn't think we was as strong, but we took the chances, and that was the main thing, and we kept going. It, we got tired in the midsection in the second half, but we kept going and going, and again, come on, you pies. Great win. Just I, I'm a fun, do you know what? It was a good day all around. I enjoyed my younger brother being there, my niece. They had a fantastic time, you know, and it, again... Just a, just a really enjoyable game. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I just want to give a little bit of a shout out as well. Uh, you know, to, uh, you know, I guess some, some of you guys down there that give a little nod and come up and say hello, you know, for, and 
you know, say that you watch the vlog and you watch my videos and I really do appreciate it. You know, it's loved, you know, I love to hear uh, that you're watching and I, you know, I love to hear your views and your thoughts. And I talk to, you know, so many fans down at the lane and it's great to hear your comments and thoughts as well. Um, like I said, you're always more than welcome uh, to join on the vlogs. And if not, you know, like I said, you can just leave a comment below uh, on any of the videos. And uh, again, I just want to say thanks again, but if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and give us a like and a comment in this year. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you down at the lane.